Hey, welcome back. It is still me, Tural, and this is our second episode of the How to of Concurrency in C Sharp. Today, we are going to talk about what is the race condition problem, when this race condition problem occurs, and how in a simple manner to solve this race condition problem. Of course, we have a lot of ways to solve this race condition, but we'll focus only a simple solution for now. And in our next tutorials, I will provide a lot of possible ways to solve this problem. It is going to be really interesting. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. As always, we'll start our journey from the theory. First, we need to understand what is the problem to solve this problem. So first, we need to understand what is the race condition, when this race condition occurs, how this race condition occurs, and then we'll switch to practice to solve this race condition problem. Here in our case, say I have CPU with 16 cores, but right now only four cores are available for me to use because when I run my application, I run my operating system. Operating system will use some cores, some background services will use cores, and also I may run multiple applications right now. For example, I have screen recording right now, Visual Studio, the Draw.io, etc. These applications also consume CPU time, and that's why it is not possible for you to use a all possible cores at a given time for one single application. Right now, from the 16, let's say I have four cores and I have nine tasks here to run simultaneously. What is a concurrency? We already learned that concurrency is doing more than one work at a given time. And parallel programming is a part of multi-threading, which multi-threading is going to be also part of our concurrency. And I have nine tasks. I want to parallelize some CPU heavily operation here. And it is possible for me to run only one task per core. So I will take only four tasks from my task pool because physically it is not possible for you to run all tasks simultaneously. But how it is possible, how we see that it is actually running simultaneously. Of course, this is not physically simultaneous. Uh, in this case, four cores may use your nine tasks only using context switching technique. What is a context switching? Say we have one task here, and before this task finishes, our core will use, will run a part of this task, and it will exclude and will take another task to run. And for the given tasks, we have a separate time, thread time, let's say. And after this time ends, this will exclude, the core will exclude my task and will take another task. And it happened very fast. And in our case, we see that it is simultaneous operation, but it is not simultaneous. At the end, parallel programming some way uses multi-threading, okay? We have context switching. It takes one task, but task takes a lot of time to finish, but we have limited time for the given task. And when time ends, we will exclude this task and take another one. This happens with other tasks also. And it means we have the fastest context switching and this context switching will create effect of simultaneous operation for us because CPU is doing this operation really fast. And from the person perspective, we see that everything is simultaneous, but it uses context switching technique. And it is also a big problematic operation for our CPU because it is time consuming process. It consumes a lot of resources. So uh, at the end, we have only one possible way to run all these tasks at a given time because physically our CPU course is limited. That's why we are using context switching. Now let's talk about race condition problem. What is race condition? Race condition occurs in your concurrent environment. When you have more than one task to do some operation and when they have some shared resources and when more than one task tries to reach out to the same resource, tries to update, to manipulate on this resource. And that's why race condition problem occurs. 
say we have one task and here yeah, our task starts our task ends and unfortunately we already know that we have context switching it means when you have a huge task it is not possible for one thread to completely run all lines of codes in this thread and we have context switching say in the middle some operation stopped and we will run our another thread for the given context but for the first thread the logic should end here but context switching doesn't allow us to came to this line and to finish the operation that's why we have non-consistent logic here from the practical perspective say we are doing some transactional operation okay we are doing some money transfer process and we have a simple checking here if the transaction is not done then do the following operation and set transaction is done but our first task will check if transaction is not done and we'll start to do some operation here okay it will do some uh, money transfer process but the end of the logic is we should set the transaction to true but context switching doesn't allow us to finish the operation and other thread will start to do the transfer process again because currently transaction status is false that's why we are doing we are trying to do a twice transaction transfer twice money transfer process and that's the real reason behind the race condition problem we should mark this section as a critical section critical section means this is a one transactional section and when you uh, are in this section you should came to the last line you should completely finish this operation to have one transactional operation it, it shouldn't be possible for you at the in the middle to stop and to do some context switching okay so race condition is when more than one thread more than one tasks tries to do the same operation again the, at the end they are having non-consistent state for your data okay and why race condition occurs because you are using concurrency actually when you have a single thread application you will not face with this shared resource problem you will not face with this race condition deadlocks because when you are applying concurrency it has its own value and you are you should be dealing with the problems related to concurrency okay that's a simple because when you apply for example some microservice architecture for your application microservice has its own difficulties you should take into account these difficulties and that's why before designing your application you should think on pros and cons and then apply it the same is applicable for your concurrency concurrency doesn't mean that you are using the latest technology stuff you are doing everything uh, in a proper manner if you're using concurrency you should deal with shared resources you should deal with um, race condition and deadlocks and other problems related to concurrency now it is time to see everything in practice we'll deal with race condition problem and we'll try to solve this race condition problem as we demonstrated in our um, presentation i will use a transaction okay public class transaction for my transaction i have transfer i'm doing some transfer operation using the decimal decimal amount and of course i have public indicator that transaction is done or not first when we run it public boolean is done get this is going to be the private set and this is default false of course but i'm anyway i'm using the false here and of course the is done is going to be our shared resource when you have a, a property in your class and you are running this operation using multiple tasks these properties are going to be your shared resources okay resources 
share it resource simply okay right now because we have only one and i have special logic here if my operation is not done let's do it and i will use console right line uh, trans fair process started great and to see my threads in background i'm just using the environment current managed thread id great let me just copy this stuff from here and i am doing transfer the transfer money my private method okay my amount money great let's just generate this method here okay and let's use transfer process transferring transferring and this is our amount okay and one more console right line transfer process ended i want to see the end thread also and at the end i'm using is done it means i will start with is done false and we will print this message will do transfer operation will print the second message and at the end is done is true it means our next thread shouldn't run this block of code but let's see if it is correct or not i'm just using the transaction transaction and we are running our operation in a multiple thread environment using task factory start new task factory start new okay say our customer clicked three times and now we have this type of three times running task okay and we are calling our t dot transfer with 400 what we are expecting in our single thread environment our task uh, our transfer process will start and end without any problem but in this case in our concurrent environment we have context switching it means for such type of code lines it will not be possible for us to start operation and wait the end and then switch to another task if you are running things using task factory start new you are trying to parallelize it you will have context switching and this context switching may print this one and transfer and then stop here and switch to another thread and unfortunately is done is not true and it means the second thread will start to do the transfer process again and you will end up with doing more than one time transfer actually you will do triple transfer to your friend and we need to avoid this issue this is called race condition and this section actually is called critical section why critical section because only one thread only one task should be able to enter this section at a given time and at the end other thread or task may enter to this section depending from your condition when you have more than one task tries to do this operation here we have some update here we may have some delete some insert operation for having reading process it is not a problem but when you have writing process like adding deleting updating this is going to be a big problem for your race condition okay and in this case we are trying to reach to this section using more than one task and we are having context switching that's why we are ending with race condition problem okay and let's run our application here we see that we have a triple transfer process so you see we are accessing to the our critical 
section we haven't marketed it as a critical section but will end up triple transfer process okay and we have different threads in this case because we are doing cpu intensive operation here but how to avoid race condition first you need to mark your section this section as a critical section one of the simplest way of uh, avoiding race condition problem is to use lock and we have private static read only object locker let's instantiate new object and let's use our lock here and i'm using my locker and here let me just add this here and using lock i will mark inside if as a critical section it means when one thread one task enters to this section it should end the operation and then exit if we have other threads and tasks that wait this section okay in my case let's run our application and here we are transfer process started transferring and transfer process ended why we are not seeing other two tasks messages because the is done is already true and that's why for other threads it is always true and we will not end up with running the if condition again that's how we are simply avoiding our race condition problem of course we have other synchronization primitives to use and starting from our next tutorials i will talk about other synchronization and of course we'll learn the locker in more detail well that's actually all if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe hit like button share and i'll see you in the next tutorials